Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the opening bracket game. Or, so I'm trying to do all round one, all the games that weren't casted uh, during round one from the uh, Starcon New York City land. Upper left hand corner, we have Arcade Plus starting as the Midnight Blue Terran. Upper right hand corner, we have Launch starting as the Mustard Yellow Zerg. I actually restarted this one because I was trying to think of a way to phrase this. I'm not familiar with these guys, but I have a feeling that these, uh, knowing the skill level of the LAN overall, I feel like these guys would be competitive in BSL Hasu League. Uh, I know Art of Turtle in particular is competitive in BSL Hasu League. I haven't seen these guys play before, but I have a feeling that in Hasu League, they might put up a pretty good, they, they could put up a, a pretty good fight and maybe see uh, round of eight, round of four, something along those lines. Uh, and that's just from reputation of people going around the land. At the same time, I don't know what their skill level is precisely. I know Art of Turtle is one of those guys, I think he's sitting around B and on occasion has a really, really brilliant game and is someone who, it, it's not, he's, a lot of players will be like, oh, well, this guy's this rank and so we won't be able to pull a game off on Artosis or Jayun. And I'm not saying that uh, Art of Turtle wouldn't, in a best of seven, will beat Artosis, but I will say that it is possible that Art of Turtle could uh, players like Art of Turtle could, and I'm using him as the bar here, kind of the me and guy that I'm absolutely familiar with. He could definitely sneak a game off those guys, and in a best of three with some clever play, could pull something off. And that's kind of like, and that's how I feel about this tournament is that nearly everybody in the tournament could, if they just play out of their minds and prepared really, really well, could go very, very deep. Was kind of my feeling about it. It was a really, really stacked tournament. There, I feel like I set. Didn't, don't need to restart it now. I feel like I said uh, what I was attempting to say. A lot of player talent here. Anyway, even if I'm not familiar with the players, I have a feeling they're still pretty solid overall. Part of the thing is with Brood War, like just because it's so mechanically challenging, I think people don't fully appreciate it. They look at the Koreans are like, oh yeah. Well, it's like, yeah, those are the guys that do this for a living. And these guys put in a lot of time as well. Like they've definitely put in 10K hours. It's just the Koreans have put in the 20K hours, I think is what it comes down to as far as mastery. Anyway, seeing a Rax opener top left, it looks like we were seeing a hatch, no, uh, hatch opener top right hand side extractor dropped a little bit later than 207 it looks like, but this does look like it's more of a leaning mutilisk opener. We do have uh, Overlord sitting in that bottom right hand corner at the moment. The drone's gonna be able to scout top left. Overlord's making its way that way. It's really critical that that Overlord, it's helpful to get that Overlord in a scouting position or something in scouting position so you can see initial troops. This might lead to a larger Zergling dedication earlier from launch, recognizing that he's not going to be able to get, it's going to be more of a challenge to get an Overlord over that edge because you need to keep an eye on it. It looks like it was one Marine into command center, second Marine being constructed along the way, that drone taking some damage, but confirming that that Marine was in fact there. SCV being drawn back as the second SCV able to wander in. So initial Zerglings and a second pair, yeah, I think that is to get some Zerg... Well, we'll see where they go, but the Zerglings do need to get on the front just to see how many troops are being produced by Arcade Plus and whether he's going for a more aggressive opener or not. Second barracks being plopped down. No bunker as of yet. But it looks like... Some, yeah, a couple of the Zerglings going to make their way that direction. Tech to Lair, Arcade Plus is going to be able to confirm that. And let's see if momentarily launch starts moving out an additional drone. Yeah, Overlord going to have to get out of harm's way. The Zergling should be able to protect it that direction. So the Zergling is not going to be able to shoot the gap. But what they are going to be able to do in a moment is just confirm how many Marines are out in the front. And so, yeah, just checking that out, backing off. Good play by launch overall. And it looks like he is going to be able to get and producing a couple extra Zerglings just to play it safe. Maybe because he sees that there's no bunker, which might he might feel like, okay, maybe... This is going to be a heavier barracks play. But even if it's not heavier barracks play, it looks like we're seeing two racks into Academy, by the way. This, none of the clutter on the front opens up an opportunity for Launch to either go for a run by or to get a nice surround. Looks like Launch is going to go for the much more popular in base three hatch with Spire. And this allows more larva and more Zerglings actually in the mid game. So you basically just can start spending your resources a little bit more efficiently. It does create a pressure where you do need to either contain, like push push the Medic Marine army away from your third so you can establish conditional ba uh, base and gas, second gas being grabbed now and a creep colony being dropped preventatively. Or you need to just wipe out the Medic Marine army outright so that you can secure additional bases and get, because you really need three gas as Zerg. 
So you got to play a little bit more aggressively. What it does do, though, is it provides a little bit more map control because you can oftentimes end up with more units on the ground. Stim researching, it looks like we're seeing Comsat dropped, probably confirming that Spire timing might have caught the edge of the Zerglings as they're starting to field out. And I think it might have spotted that hatchery as well. We do have medics and Marines on the ground. It looks like Arcade Plus is going to hold tight right this second as he's building that bunker to just make sure he has that bunker up. Zerglings pocketing in a single Zergling now waiting on the front. And it looks like, yeah, Arcade wants, or sorry, Lunch wants to make an opportunity where if the Medic Marines move out, maybe he can go for a run by, pick off a couple of SCVs at the natural expansion and use that to make sure you can keep the creep colony count a little bit lower on the front. Initial Mutalisks are being constructed. Arcade just holding put in the meantime, and it looks like plus one weapons also being upgraded for launch. So wants to open up with a more standard Mutalisk from three base style. Arcade adding a third barracks, which theoretically should allow him to get the science vessels out a little bit more rapidly. This does mean he's going to have to play a, uh, somewhat more defensively to start and wait for... Definitely going to need to wait for range, plus one weapons. The the marine count's just going to be a little bit lower, and he might want to be a little bit heavier on turrets. This turret placement is a little far back, honestly, um, for RK+. Plus. I like this one, but maybe he's just wanting to make sure that he keeps the, the mineral lines open. So now starting to move out. This is just as launch was off position. The Mutalisks, unfortunately, were missing one and grouping up. Some commsats dropping. Arcade moving a little bit forward just to make sure there's some confusion. Stimming for it, getting some good damage and able to pick one Mutalisk off. That was huge. There's more in construction, but being able to soften up early Mutalisk, especially in a trade for a single Marine, that is a very efficient trade and one you'll take absolutely every single day. A drone in the meantime hanging out bottom right for launch. So it looks like he wants to go ahead and play it a little bit more Mutalisk heavy, going increasing the count quite considerably. And I'm curious if he's going to, with this, is he planning on playing maybe a Crazy Zerg style. I don't see in a heavy investment in Mutalisk thus far, and I don't see any any Mutaden, but lost another Mutalisk. And if he's going to make this work, he needs to make sure that he's not bleeding off any more units and taking more damage. Trying to micro does manage to get an SCV kill. It looks like at least one shot is missing in that Mutalisk grouping. And now Arcade moving out, getting very aggressive. He's hitting hitting the timing for that factory right where he wants to, to get the science vessels out. As he desires, it looks like that sunken colony is morphed, but there's only a single sunken colony. The Zergling's trying to engage from behind, but usually you'll see a larger grouping of Zerglings alongside this. And here we're seeing a, a heavier investment into Mutalisk with the, the three hatch, but Launch just trying to keep the Medic Marines held there. And because he's had such a heavy investment in Mutalisk, it's really delayed this third base quite a ways, so I don't know that he's going to have the follow-up timing. Looks like he was able to pick off a medic there, actually, so nice play. The Zerglings cutting off reinforcements as an SCV was looking to move out. More Mutalists there and a Scourge just in case. A little bit early. I think it was hoping as to catch a Science Vessel alongside this. It might have been a misfire as well. At the very least, the Scourge absorbing some shots between the supply counts somewhat even. Launch not dedicating that second something colony as of yet. That third base is now dropping and the zerglings did manage to get a run by so killing a few units in between able to get on top of the barracks and an scv trying to defend it actually nice battle kill getting some good damage but while arcade was a moving his army back launch jumped on it so he's like okay you're in a panic to get to, to get to your base i'm just going to level your army as plus one weapons comes online and now arcade plus in massive trouble Pecking away at the turret line. These melt. Some decent micro with the Mutalisks. More Zerglings streaming across, which is really going to tax things. This could be an easy win. Nothing in the bunker currently. Let's see if the Zerglings are able to reposition to hold it out. The Mutalisks is going to hold them at the ramp, realizing that bunker is empty. Going to readjust and that ramp now more or less breached, although the Mutalisks have really bled off. A lot of damage inflicted. Third gas is not yet up. And I think this... Uh, both players playing a little bit nervous is what I'm going to say here. In this tournament situation. Four barracks running. We have some fire bats being constructed. Out of desperation. No starport as of yet. From Arcade Plus. And he needs to get that. So he's floating a lot of gas. Launch spending his minerals fairly well. Single SCV 
going to take some mutilus damage, but critically launch needs to get... He's got the Queen's Nest coming up, but he needs to get Harvesting Gas. He's already got the Evolution Chamber there, now capping that gas. Starport being dropped, but this is very late at the 10 minute mark. Firebats, Marines, Medics keeping Arcade Plus alive. But with between that and the very, very delayed Starports launched in a pretty solid position. Could even fill in some drones if he wanted to. He's now teching to Hive. Has Lurker Aspect upgrading. Doesn't have a lot of Lurkers. I don't see any Lurkers out in the field as of yet, though. That's usually what you want to help defend against this. Plus one weapons also not there. A little bit late for RK Plus as well. Mulos regathering, looking to use the artifacts to chip away at this army potentially. Getting some good reinforcement kills. And in the meantime, yeah, Hydralisks 10 up, a third sunken colony though, but no Hydralisks or no Hydralisks or Lurkers really produced here. And RK Plus having some trouble, his army scattering a little bit, which is opening up additional kills there for launch. Regrouping, and also without that plus one weapons, it's making those Mutalisks that do have plus one weapons all the stronger. Third gas solidly up and running. Mutalisks regrouping to the bottom right. Some additional Mutalisks might get caught. Looks like they are going to reposition. Oop, taking some damage, unfortunately. Are they going to be able to be a trouble? Looks like they're going to re... Yeah, all part of one control group and having trouble regathering. As the more, it looks like finally we have some Hydros trying to go by ground to bottom right to potentially morph into Lurkers. But the Mutals taking a lot of damage from RK Plus in the meantime. And Medic Marines and Firebats now scrambling to the front. This is three Sunk Colonies and two Lurkers there. So I'm not sure that they're going to get a lot out of this. Irradiate just now being researched. And unfortunately, it looks like the Hydralisks, for, unfortunately for RK Plus, it looks like the Hydralisks are going to be able to get to bottom right without too much trouble. And morph on the ramp if they need to. Looks like they're going into the high ground, Overlord spotting them. That is going to cause, yeah, a morphed ramp. One repositioning just to make sure there's a blockade and they can drop it. RK Plus going to go ahead and grab his third behind this, but Mulusks are making their way that direction. Fortunately, Arcade does have some Marines and peppering them and able to take out one, trying to bust through bottom right, but that Lurker Egg Armor very, very helpful. He needs to get those Lurkers in position ASAP, though. Stacking them just on the edge. With that, Arcade going to reposition. Arcade's done a really good job macroing, despite everything. So, up 20 supplies. A little bit, been a little bit slower on upgrades. And let's see if he can hold out, though, because Hive Tech is finished. Consume's upgrading. Adrenal Glance is upgrading. And... It, Plus one weapons is going to, or plus one armor, I should say, is going to finish in not too long. The first two science vessels now making their way out. An overlord's going to get taken out. The zergling's able to sneak top left. And I couldn't even get there in time before that command center fell. Sheesh. A couple of radiates being dropped on lurkers on the front. Launch is in the red right this moment as far as supply goes. But we have some mutalisks and zerglings now going to tax that natural expansion. Let's see if that forces Arcade back. Able to get some damage, but the Mutalisks not providing enough support to the Zerglings, so gonna draw back. We do have an SCV waiting, potentially, to grab that 9 o'clock location. Another Science Vessel moving up, wanting to see if it can find a Defiler. Look, does have the energy, and it looks like Arcade Plus thinking about jumping this. Dropping a Defense Matrix instead, but he's not leading with that Marine. Now attacking into this, but a very slow response from launch. Scourge making their way out. One science vessel down, two science vessel down, which means those, that lurker at least is going to stay alive. And there's additional lurkers that are able to get under the dark swarm. Can they focus fire that hatchery down? It looks like a lot of drones are losing their lives, but a lot of marines are getting swatted by these lurkers in the meantime, trying to push down that gas at the natural expansion. That's a great target with what's left, but unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. Arcade having to push back out of it. So launch getting a scare right there, but it looks like he's gonna hold. Still has his defiler, took out both science vessels. Looks like he is gonna end up losing a second gas, which is gonna delay things considerably for him. More medic marine starting to march forward. It looks like they do have, they're at plus one, plus one. 
the upgrades have halted momentarily. It looks like it's only a single evolution chamber. That they're going for the plus one weapons. I don't see an ultralist cavern as of yet. So a nice irradiates from the science vessels. So RK plus staying on top of that aspect of the game. But he's also ooh, upgraded plague. Managed to get a good plague on two of the science vessels, and he's going to go ahead and grab the natural expansion in the bottom right. And if launch can go ahead and establish that, that will be four gas and put him in a very, very good situation. Looks like he plagued his own overlord, unfortunately, but probably not too concerned. Extra caution here from RK plus moving out with that command center. Going to drop two bunkers at the third behind it. Zerglings scooting their way out, trying to get on the field to create some havoc. And let's see if the Marines are going to be able to beat the Zerglings here. The Zerglings are going to see the bunkers, see that they're empty. Looks like they're still running towards that natural expansion. If they had gotten up to that third, they might have been able to do some serious damage. Instead, SCV managing to get the assist kill. And a third gas planting right there. More science vessels being built. RK Plus making his way bottom right. We have some Scourge already in position. These science vessels are a little bit too far out. One of them still going to be able to make it through. They're not going to be able to pull off the eraser trick, however. Natural expansion hatchery. Looks like it'll come online. Irradiating. It looks like he irradiating the lurker might have wanted to target that defiler instead. So defiler going to sit on position. It looks like he's going to keep lurkers on the high ground just in case. And things restabilizing both directions. RK plus with a lot of supply. He's actually at three bases, which is a pretty good position. He's got a drop ship loaded up. It looks like he's going to potentially take that bottom right. The science vessels... And there's not a lot of defenses here latently, so could be trouble. A single Scourge wandering out to maybe get some scouting information might get killed by that Marine. Nope, it looks like it was just on move command, but troops now unloading out of vision. Just on the edge of vision. Nice play. And RK Plus diving in should easily be able to target that Nidus. So Nidus is gone, and that means it's only going to be what's here to try to defend it working on that hatchery and that hatchery is taking a lot of damage extremely rapidly so zerglings finally moving in good amount of disruption and it looks like another army piling up outside the natural of launch plus two weapons plus one armor some irradiates being dropped we still have another few defilers nearby it looks like the unfortunately the defiler working against the army right here and doing some additional damage. A barrage of irradiates. This is still a lot of lurkers, however, on the front. Science vessel still standing here. Bottom left. Four gas up for launch. Good amount of macro hatcheries for launch as well. Continuing the double evolution chamber upgrades. At 1-1, one, one, comparatively. But RK grabbing yet another base at the 9 o'clock location. So looking to settle into a long macro game. He's got 170 supply. It looks like a few lurkers and defilers and a defiler able to sneak out underneath this army, but that's leaving the bottom right-hand corner mostly undefended. A repivot from launch to try to intercept. Unfortunately, he's not at a position where Arcade really needs to dive into him, so he can keep going. He can just re-attack with the rest of that army, even though he's losing some reinforcements here. Yeah, stimming into this. There's only a single sunken colony, and launch going to call GG, recognizing that bottom right-hand base would go down. And that he just didn't have enough uh, to sneak out or get out and wasn't, once he lost everything bottom right, was going to be out of the match. So game one goes to Arcade Plus, one that was very back and forth. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.